So today we're going to take a quick look over the Brahma Raid Series boots. You can typically find these at Walmart, uh, potentially at other different stores. I'm not exactly sure on your location. Uh, basically, I have this boot here. This is brand new from today I bought. This is kind of what they look like. They do have decent padding around the ankle or, or shin and then on the, uh, the sole, really nice padding as well. Uh, these are my second, I guess, most used pair, my third most used pair. To be fair, this pair actually has seen the most mileage. I tend to walk a little heavier on my right foot, so you can see a little more. Uh, they have air pockets. I'm assuming it's for cushion, but um, I've actually worn through the rubber on this. And that's about four to six months of usage there. This pair, I've probably owned this for over a year, but I only really wore them for a good probably six to seven months. Uh, and then periodically, depending on my, you know, if it's really dirty work, but you can see that I'm not nearly using the sole nearly as much. Um, as far as the padding goes, they're fine. I've never had issues with my feet hurting that much. Now, if you're more sensitive on your feet, you may want to look at something else or put padding in them. Never had issues with that. Uh, durability, as far as the fit and finish go, uh, the, these look, this is, I mean, they look pretty decent new. I wear a canvas utility pants on top of them, so my, my pants usually go down to here, and from here on is what you see. Uh, they do look pretty decent. Uh, they hide a lot of crap if you're actually walking through crap, or, you know, it just whatever dirt or whatever, they, they do help hide it a lot. Uh, after this one, you can kind of see this is about six months, I'd say, of heavy usage delivering packages or renovating homes. Um, you can definitely see, you know, the shine difference is different. It's kind of hard to see in the video. Um, brand new, I definitely noticed that the uh, my pivot point on my ankles, uh, this section right here, is a lot more tight, a little uh, thinner. Uh, it could be my feet. Uh, these do tend to, to, the fake leather tends to expand over time. Uh, clearly because of usage, um, but they're a little wider after a while. Uh, just, I'm assuming it's due to my foot size, uh, so it could vary from person to person. Uh, and this is kind of what it looks like, you know, you can see, uh, it's just like a, this is kills paint actually on the soles here. Um, that's kind of what they look like. Inside, uh, this is what they look like new. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but basically pretty nice inside. Um, good amount of leather cloth. I have felt them before. There's like, well, I've definitely felt them before, but like there's leather or like a cloth and then you're padding and the rubber's underneath. I don't feel like I'm walking on rubber. Uh, never had that issue. This is definitely, I would consider heavy usage. Uh, definitely a lot of walking. Um, that's kind of what they look like. And like I said, I tread a little heavy on my right foot. Uh, so that's, this is my right foot right here. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, this is partly due to paint, and I got these really wet, so the glue may have uh, not have adhered as closely to the foam. And that's kind of what they look like inside there. Uh, overall, they're really good boots. I get a lot of mileage out of them. Um, typically, I will usually wear these styles so far for about six months. I have these pair over here. I haven't really worn them too much. I, not as much my style, but they're really nice looking. Um, these I'll put about six months on. You can buy, you know, um, I'm not going to say the brand names, but you can buy a lot of nice brand names, you know, for 200 plus dollars. And they probably will last you maybe a year or two or, or, or however long. But I basically get a new pair of boots every six months with these, especially um, these typically cost around 25 to $28. Um, during this time, I'm, I'm kind of reviewing these. I, I bought these. Um, in July during 2020, so COVID has really, I don't know if it's a supply chain it's affected or, or what, um, but everything seems to cost a little bit more now, unfortunately. Um, but um, typically I can buy these for 25 to 28 and uh, to be honest, I can get a new pair every six months, and I'd rather do that than, you know, have a pair that, you know, I, it may last a year or two, uh, but I, I, you know, I'm I'm not going to put oil on my boots. I'm not going to do certain things that, you know, dress shoes you would do. Uh, so these, you know, they look really nice and they last, pro that, that shine you see right here will last for probably, I, I'd say probably at least a month or two. And then after three or four months, not as bad as this, but, you know, it's, it's kind of a mix between the two. Uh, but this is about six months after heavy usage for these boots, I'd say. Um. 
waterproofing they're okay they're you know they're they're not waterproofed or whatever they claim they're not claiming that at all um I've gotten them wet they smell a little bit like especially these over here nothing major though uh if you're looking at the box it's gonna say uh slip resistant I, I don't know what really qualifies as slip resistant but they seem to do a really good job I've never had to you know most shoes that I've worn have never really been that slippery um I don't know what it is but they, they do seem to do a good job as far as oil resistant goes I haven't tried that too hard I'm sure I've dripped oil on especially these pair and these pair um this one would be a better example just because that has kills paint on it so it just kind of covers it up but um you know it it, it holds up fine not a big deal. I do really not like the steel toe aspect. It gives me a lot of confidence. I've done a lot of stuff that just, if I drop it on my toes, you know, if I had like some real cheap cloth tennis shoes on, I'd be screwed over. I really do appreciate that. And they don't add a lot of weight. I, it's a, a thinner steel I think they do put in here. Uh, but, it, you know, from the average to semi-light industrial work, not heavy industrial I'd say, but light industrial stuff, uh, these are pretty good. Um, I think I've covered everything. Overall, the good boots, you know, they're they're anywhere from twenty three to thirty four dollars in total. Um, I think I've got <laughs> got enough pair here. I have thrown actually another pair away. I've I've had I've owned four of these boots overall, and I I, I I'd say I'd recommend almost five out of five for what you pay for what you get. Um, it's great. You know, I'm not a huge fan of buying from China, but. Uh, the value proposition is, is definitely there, and that's what they're going for. Uh, you can kind of see it, but overall, I love the boots. Uh, can't complain. I've stepped on screws and nails before. Uh, I don't know if they put anything special in the soles, but it's never punctured through. Um, so protection, that's my main thing. The protection of my feet is really good on these. And you, to be honest, if they are trashed, whatever field you're in, like for me, I'm in home renovations and, and sometimes maybe delivering a package or two, uh, they hold up really well. I mean, I, I'm very confident in them. So, you know, if you're looking to buy these, check them out at the store. Feel them for yourself. That's something really nice. If you go to Walmart, you can kind of check them out, see if you like the materials. Um, you know, this feels almost the same as this. This is definitely padded down a bit, but they're almost the same. Um, just check them out. See if you like them. I like them a lot. I, I'd definitely recommend them overall. Um... Any questions, I'll try to get to them, but this is kind of the progression or the what boots will look like, especially this pair after about six months of heavy usage. Um, so you make your own mind up. Um, take a look at them. If you like them, definitely buy them. All right, thanks, guys.